So I'm kind of hoping my little camera set up here so it stays where it is until I finish, but I don't have much to say. I stuffed up the last 5.2 uh, megahertz 7700K video I did. It was a mess. I'm no better at making videos, but uh, it, it was really bad. So here's another one. Dink. Okay, so it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Ignore the uh, graphics card. It's actually running through the I IGPU at the same time at the moment as this overclock. This is my favorite rig. It's my 7700K on my Z270 Apex with my 4133B die kit. Um, a little bit of a, a, a godsend, this chip. Uh, Cinebench, I'm at 13th on water, second chill, 32 m super pie, first on water and first chill. At 5.7 I did that and it's done Cine and all, all that a day, 5.3 to 5.4. Bit over 5.4 I think for the Cine. Geekbench 4, I'm at first on water and uh, chiller. Geekbench 3, 15th on water and 4th on chiller. So uh, you can see why I like the chip. Now I've done a video on overclocking this to 5.2 before, as I've said, but uh, I sort of stuffed the video up and there's some blurred bits and whatnot, so I thought I'd do another one. I do it slightly differently this way. Uh, the other one was just a 50, straight out 52 multiplier. I'm using a 51 multiplier with a BCLK of 102 to do this. I'm actually running a tad over 102, it's just because I was doing little tweak things, but. Um, 5.2 with 102 BCLK is, is the standard 24-7 for it, really. Um, uh, just uh, showing you whatever I can. Uh, 4.7 is the cache. I'm keeping it within 5. And the memory is just running at uh, a tad over 3600 at a, a timing set of uh, 16, 17, 17, 36, 1 T command rate, just for, just for daily, you know. I was just, I limit myself to about 1.5 volts when I'm, when I'm doing that. Uh, but what I did in the other video was show every BIOS screen as uh, part of the deal. So you, if you're comparing and you're doing your own, uh, it's a pretty good chip, so don't, hold, don't be too hard on yourself. But uh, you can refer it up, up against it, but you don't know if there's something in the background or one of the pages you haven't seen that's different for you to me. So I'm going to show you every page. So. Bear with okay. me. Okay, well, you know my cinematography is terrible, so, uh, you know, bear with me or don't. I'll change that back to 102 just to keep everything, you know, kosher. But, uh, okay, so I'll run you through the BIOS settings. I don't know if I'll say much about them, but you can see them and there'll be a reference for you. Uh, the last video was shocking to, to read these in the first place, and then I decided to add a whole bunch of blur to it. So, uh, here we go. Um, I actually would have that at three, nine times out of ten. Um, that'll reduce heat when AVS, AVX instructions are, are required. Uh, not really, uh, not really a problem if you, well, you. You won't need it up there. Just, just, just give it what uh, previous chips wish they had. You know, like an AVX breather zone uh, okay what do we got I've set the DRAM frequency at, yeah 3600 and then it's one I yeah I'm even confused oh yeah the 102 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd normally disable that too so there's some things I might not have always done might not always do necessarily okay mode 2 on the memory um, I haven't t uh, touched any other RTLs or, or tertiary subs. Uh, LLC on five, current capability 140, uh, extreme uh, phase and power duty. Extreme power phase, DRAM uh, phase, uh, DRAM current stability 130%. Internal. Max out the long duration, the package power time window, and the short duration. I'm not touch anything in tweakers. No, that's all clean. Let's go down. So, max out the current limit uh, for the cache, core cache. It's, uh, I just put in like five 
thousand fifty five thousand or something you know it just overkill and then it sets the max you're not going to hit that uh, CPU graphics current limit yeah see I don't normally have that uh, the onboard graphics enabled but it's fine uh, 4.7 on the cache now that voltage um, I've got LLC it's 1.4 in OS so where the LLC is could probably I could probably do it a bit differently but a little bit overshoot I've had a play with it, so it, it kind of came out better for temperatures, but I think I think I can actually pull the voltage back a little bit. Uh, IO1225 and SA1125, 1.25. It wants to default to a lot higher than that, 1.3 1 1 to 1.35 for IO then SA, I think. I think. Okay, so advanced. I haven't touched anything in here, I don't believe. Yeah, okay, so I've turned off C states <coughs> and speed shift and, and blah, 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 speed step. Rubbish. Haven't touched boot performance mode. Yeah, I haven't touched anything in there. If I haven't touched anything, then, yeah, I'm running the IG FX now, so as you can see. I wouldn't normally have that there. Yeah, auto, auto again. I'm just going to whiz through these guys because unless I notice I've changed something, I'll stop there and say something, okay? Yeah. Sorry, but the camera skills are terrible, I know. Get something semi professional one of these days. Would have done it already if it wasn't such a yobbo. Fair dink. Yeah, do you really need to see this? No, I probably overkilled it, but anyway, let's bore you to death. Uh, la, 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 monitoring, who cares? Fast boot, disable boot logo, I hate it, get rid of it. Uh, set up mode advanced, I'm not into easy all the time. Now, I normally, yeah, that's right. Nothing there to see, don't get excited. Oops, wrong. So, overclocking profiles I set, of course. I'm on um, BIOS, uh, 0010, which enables you to go over two volts for the memory. It's a modded BIOS. Normally got a Vega 64 sitting in it. I'd like to get a little one to pair up with that and beat the 2080 Ti's apparently. Uh, and that's about it guys. So yeah, not gonna bore you to death anymore. Now you've got a better proper video for this. Um, so just over 1.44 volts for 5.2 there. Um, it'll, it'll do better than that if it's cooler obviously. Anyway, um, Fair dinkum, yobbo out. Just a quick word before we go. Anyone out there who's got any contacts with any sponsors or anything like that, hardware wise, who, uh, and they're looking for somebody, rather than put a noob in there before him, give Jason a go. Guy's got all the passion and ability, he just needs crack. So, uh, not that anyone listens to me, the tiny little tuber that I am, but um, maybe someone will see this and, and share the link on, a, on another thread somewhere. On ya.